else to find out where Hannah has gone this mm. morning. <laughs> She's at Skip's Meat Market in Greece to get a feel for what it's like to be a butcher. Hi, Hannah. <laughs> hey guys, yeah, I've done a lot, but butchering is nothing I really thought I'd ever do in my life. Skip's Meat Market has been in Rochester for over 65 years, serving up different cuts of meat, uh, different options for everyone in the community. Well, today I'm getting a behind-the-counter look at how it's actually done, and we're making Italian sausage today. That's our focus, and we'll show you all the different types of cuts of meat and how you can choose when you come to the meat market yourself. So wow. stick around. It'll be on Fox Rochester this morning. They say you never want to see how the sausage is made, but we're gonna we're going. Oh my! Flip over, over to Fox. Fox. Be. <laughs> You've probably stepped up to the meat counter a time or two and wondered which cut do I get? And you know what? I'll Maybe. I was intimidated. I've been intimidated. I, me too. You go and you're like, uh, I don't really know. Well, Hannah Welker is live at Skiff's Meat Market in Greece to see what butchers do to make your shopping experience easier. I have to be honest, I've never gotten anything from a butcher before. Oh, yeah, it's absolutely, a, I, the service is spectacular. Because I don't I'm know serious. what to ask for, and yeah. I don't want to sound silly going, I'd like some of that. Well, Hannah's going to make us an is. expert now. Yeah. Morning, Hannah. What oh, in what the you, world? What you got there? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hi, guys, you may, you may or may not want to see this, but <laughs> this is what your New York strip steak starts out looking as. Uh, this is the full thing. Alan DePasquale is the owner here. Alan, explain to people what you're going to show me this morning and why they shouldn't be grossed out by what this meat looks like. Well, we're going to show you how to all the cuts of strips, I mean, all the cuts of steaks, and all the cuts of meat also. Plus, we're going to make Italian sausage. We're going we're to get Hannah's hands really dirty. <laughs> yes, I can't wait. <laughs> Because he's doing all the work right now. i got to help him out. And you guys are really known for your Italian sausage, so you're actually going to let me help you make yes, it. Yes, we're going to let you uh, mix it a little bit. We're going to let you case it up and link it. Oh, man. I never, ever thought in a million years I'd be working as a butcher one day. But, right. hey, never say never, right? <laughs> I'll toss it back to you guys. All right. Thank you, Anna. Elker the butcher. <clears throat> I like it. <laughs> Frankly, it scares me a little. Look at that. I'm fascinated by how they do this. Okay, uh, all right, just, I'm watching behind the head of the camera up there. First, getting a behind-the-counter lesson this morning at Skip's Meat Market to show us how it's all done. And I have to be honest, I'm fascinated by all of this because, you know, I just go to the store, it's already in a package with the cellophane on it. I don't even think about where it came from, but Hannah's giving us a lesson. I know, Norma, maybe this will change your mind and make you want to come to a butcher like Skip's Meat Market, but i got to take you kind of behind behind the scenes before we get to actually making the Italian sausage. Alan DiPasquale and his family, i got to let you know, this is his son, this is his son, this is his nephew, uh, and that's the phone. So there are yeah. people calling uh, to get some meat early this All morning. Uh, your family is involved in this. This yes. is a family thing. Tell me how you guys got started in this business. Well, actually, Skip Leonardo uh, opened this in, about in 1950. And my brother Joe and his partners bought it, I believe it was in 1979. And in 1993, me and my partners bought it at the time. And you took it over, and now it's a family affair. Your, your boys are working. you got three boys. Your nephew owns the Goodman uh, the Goodman store, so it, it's kind of a family affair. Let's walk over here. We're gonna kind of give him an overview of a lot that you have going on right now. Tell me what Jerry is doing. How you doing, Jerry? Good. <laughs> Good. Jerry's hard. Steaks. Jerry's making cube steak. Yes. Tell me about this cut of meat. Well, this cut of meat is from the leg. It's not your most tender part of meat, so we try to make it more tender for the customer. We we put it through a cuber, which is the next process over here. And we also make stew beef out of it. Stew beef, and so this is your son. How you doing? How you doing? Good. Now tell me what tell me what you're doing, because I said, why would someone buy this this piece of meat? Um, this piece of meat is a little more tough, like my dad said. But what we do is we uh, put it through the cuber, and that helps it uh, make it a little more tender and a little more tasty for the customer. And would someone eat this plain, or would they make this into? A hamburger or something? Not a hamburger, it's a steak, so you would grill it. Okay, so you just grill it. Not necessarily grill it, but you would. Not necessarily grill it, but you would like bake it or fry it. Okay. Also. There you go. It won't be that great on the grill, but. Okay. Yeah, cube is not my normal go to. <laughs> my normal go to is more of a tenderloin, yes. something like that. And I'm over here with Joe. Joe, explain to me 
you've kind of got it all cut up, and I'm trying not to gross people out, but I want to explain to people the different parts of the, of the steak. Uh, right now, I'm cutting up a New York strip loin. Uh, these are your better cuts of, uh, of beef, you know, for grilling. Um, we have a ribeye right here. This is a bone-in ribeye, which I call a Delmonico. This is a short loin, which has on one side a strip loin, and you get the filet on the top. The other side of the loin, you get a T-bone steak, which is basically like a bone-in strip. Uh, and this over here is a filet. And... Uh, and a lot of people say, you know, the filet is, I guess, the prime meat, the, the one that is maybe most expensive or the one that people want, the tender. Why? Why is that? Uh, it is the most tender and it's the most expensive. I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> but, Alan, you were talking about it, it, parts, of the, parts of the meat that are exercised more are often a little yeah, tougher. That is from the, the leg and the shoulder. Those are exercised more, so it's more of a... The muscle gets stronger and more tougher, and that's what the, the bottom round is there, too. <clears throat> These are from the center of the steer. They don't get use. Okay. And fat builds up around these cuts of meat, which makes them more tender. And especially the tenderloin, it's really covered with a thick, thick fat. So it doesn't get use at, no use at all. No use so at all. It, and it makes it really tender. That's why tenderloin is so good. Yeah. All right. Well, your son right now is working on uh, the sausage. We're going to show the Italian sausage in a little bit. He's prepping to make it. Uh, that's our next segment. So stick around. We're going to be making sausage. Hope you're learning a lot because I'm know, learning a lot. Hannah, <laughs> I'm so fascinated. And, and, and you know what? I'm looking at all that stuff thinking, man, I wish Lucy Holland would get her hands on some of that. <laughs> so I know she would so make it taste so good. I just yeah, remember yeah. as a kid watching her she didn't butcher her own meat but she would you know take the meat she'd cut all the fat away and she would manipulate and do whatever she'd put the you know the seasonings on it mm -hmm. and I'd watch that and uh, and of course the end result was delicious so oh, I made the mistake once of going up what's for dinner yeah and taking the pot yeah. the top off the pot yeah and it was tongue N shut up are you kidding I'm not it's, oh. a, it's a it's a thing <laughs> I've been scarred ever since. Or liver. Do you remember that? Uh, yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> liver with onions. That's where we draw the line, people, okay? To you each keep their your own. liver in your tongue. We don't want it. Ah. All right. We're going to move on. We're going to break down Let's the talk some new money. minimum wage and the increases we may see in the next few years and how it can affect you. And a reminder, by the way, you can donate to... <laughs> Take it where we can get it, all right? We're just... We're we'll thinking on the positive side. I'm thinking about summer. I'm thinking about grilling. Mm -hmm. And talking about st throwing steaks on the grill. It's more than just pieces of meat. They're carefully cut to your liking. I know. And you know what? I guess I've never had this before, so this is really interesting to watch. Hannah Welker is uh, joining us from Skip's Meat Market, showing us how meat is butchered, how it's prepared for... Um, uh, for the customer and uh, these are custom orders in some cases right Anna they are and if only you guys could see what goes on during commercial breaks it is very interesting I was practicing my Italian sausage making skills let's just say I'm not an expert I will not be your professional butcher here <laughs> at Skip's Meat Market but luckily Alan and the boys his boys are here to help me out so Alan we're going to the Italian sausage now. Yes, Take we are. me through step one. What? It, uh, tell me what I do and what this is. Well, well, actually, we're, this is one of our specialty sausages. It's our best-selling sausage we make. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is a freshly ground coarse pork butt. Okay. Okay. That's our special Italian sausage seasoning. Uh huh. That we. It's our own recipe. Sharp provolone and roasted red pepper cheese. Yeah. My son John's just. Put it all, all on right, top Josh, for you. All right, Josh, show us what to do. So you mix the seasoning into the sausage. Yep. All right. You want me to help? What can I do? You want to put the rest of the red in there? Sure. I could pour this in. Pour it right in. Should I pour it all over? Yeah, right over, just over top. Yes. Throw it on there. Oh, I could be messy? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Places. John, okay. John, so we're mixing this up? Yeah, show them how. Yeah, mix you it. Get the corners in the bottom. Yep. We like to mix it by hand because we feel that it gives her gives it a a better looking sausage when it goes through the casing. Okay. So sometimes. Oh, this smells so good. So, I wish there was smell-o-vision for people to smell this. <laughs> it smells so good. Okay. 
Okay. And right now, if we go to Jeff. Is this good? Yep. Okay, we're going over to Jeff now. What's Jeff doing? Jeff is putting the casing. He's casing the sausage up for us. Okay, guys, this, he just making this look easy. I'm telling you, this is not easy. Alan, you were telling me it's all about kind of figuring out the speed of it coming out of the casing. Yes. Because I was having a dip. Yeah, Jeff, all right, here we go. Nothing like putting me on pressure. Okay, so I put my right thumb right here. And, and what do I? There you go. Oh. See my issue, it's yep. too fast. Yeah, it's okay, just put, right? your, put your hand right there. Oh, I put it right here? Yeah. So I squeeze it? Not real hard. Okay. Okay, okay and then do I stop keep on going, or keep, I on going. keep on going, keep on going through the whole thing. Keep on going. Oh, see you. <laughs> keep on going. <laughs> Don't stop. I did. It's okay, it no. always breaks. That's something that always happens. Okay. Okay. Oh, so now you're getting this. it. Am I getting it? Oh, no, shoot. I'm I sorry. You... No. No, I wasn't gonna swear. I said shoot. Okay. Okay. Got it, got it. Is that better? Perfect. Am I getting this better? You're getting it. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I'm really not good at That's this. Good. Oh my gosh, I'm a mess. <laughs> okay. You did a so great I'm job. Like, I'm sorry. I'm you know, you blinked it. I want you to know my sons did worse family, when they you know? first did it. Okay. <laughs> okay, tell me what to do, Jeff. Six inches, twist. Okay. Alright, start third. Okay. Start third. Six inches, twist. twist. Okay, six inches, twist. Oh, good. shoot. Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> okay. Don't laugh at me down there. Okay, here we go. Six inches twist. Is this? You gotta, this pinch, is, you gotta pinch. You gotta pinch it. Really the pinch. Okay, I don't want to crack the casing. That's the difficult it's part, right? right? You know, if, if it cracks, we just pinch. put it back into the sausage machine and we okay. do it all over again. And so this is what you do, and then you you sell it in links. Yeah, like we this? sell it in links. We tray it up in a nice nice tray. We display it in the counter. And, and you have multiple kinds. You have more we have than multiple just one kinds. Kind. We, especially in the summertime, we sell a ton in the summertime. Besides the roasted red pepper with sharp provolone cheese, we also have pepper and onions. We also have a burgundy, burgundy and so cheese. So multiple stuff. kinds. This besides, is insane. Besides a hot and mild and. And you know what's cool? This is how they're all made, right? Like this. It's not just, you know, commercially made. It's made with love. It's made with care. Homemade. This amazing Italian family. I'll be back with the Deepas Qualies uh, in just a little bit. Come on, boys. We have a lot of work to do. We have a lot of work wow, to Hannah's do. Hannah's already, yeah. she's, she's the boss. Please? She's already working it out. Look at this. hang of it now. Oh. There Am she goes. Better? Absolutely. Hannah the pro. Hannah the butcher. Oh. <laughs> okay, I take that back. That's it. Oh, let's not ruin their business. <laughs> She's a good sport. <laughs> she is, <laughs> she right. is. When we come back, we're going to introduce you to an incredible kid who wrote, illustrated, and published this book about living with autism. We'll be right back. We learned a lot this morning, and we learn a lot every day, but I can't say I've ever thought we'd be getting a behind-the-butcher-counter lesson. That's exactly what we got today. We're just going to learn from Sam on the Brady Bunch, <laughs> but we've gone way beyond <laughs> that. Right. And it skips meat market uh, to get her hands dirty. And uh, yeah, I'm wondering Lord. if you're an expert yet, Hannah. Yeah, guys, sorry if, I got a little, if it got a little graphic in the last, <laughs> last segment. But something else that's cool about this place, they sell a lot of local sauces. Check this out, Googly Almos. I just made this a few weeks ago. Pretty cool. Uh, Polly, if you're watching, you should be proud. Your sauce is right on the shelf here at Skip's Meat Market. Uh, hey, Hannah, I'm lots sorry. Of other, lots of other local, local shots, uh, local sauces in, in the area right here. Hannah, I just noticed all the Goya behind you, by the way, all the Goya products. Yes. That's Lucy Holland's dream right there. She may have to go just for that. Okay. There's a she's whole Goya got, section. She's got to, Norma. Look she's at that. She's got to. I get my Guglielmos <laughs> and my Goya. I'm good. I'm I know. Good. Check it out. you got to come here. I'm telling you, they have everything. <laughs> um, now, Alan, another thing that's cool about this is you don't just have steaks. You don't just have sausage. You actually have chicken, and a lot of people think that they can only buy chicken in packages, you know, big amounts. But you can actually... Cut a piece of chicken for people and however they want it. Absolutely. If somebody wants just one li little lay quarter, they can get one little lay quarter here. You know, you, there's no big packs. There's whatever you want. Also, like on our boneless chicken breast, we'll gladly fillet it for you. You could buy as much as you want, and we don't. There's no extra charge for it. So we'll we'll slice as thin as you like. Joey's gonna like fillet one for you right now. He's gonna trim it up the way you like. 
Yeah, because you said you can actually get them made into cutlets if you want. Yep. You also have whole chicken wings, uh, partial chicken wings. Those are, like, those are like they call party wings. Party wings. And R this restaurants is... Restaurants use those or use them for home too, but that's what mainly a restaurant uses. You said it's huge during the Super Bowl. Oh, huge. We'll probably go through between the Goodman store and, our, and this store, probably somewhere between eight to 10,000 pounds. That's insane. For a Super Bowl week. And it's it gets a little crazy in here because everyone wants wings, but it's 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 a lot of fun though. It's good. I gotta bring your boys in. Boys, come on over here. I gotta ask. You know, we were we've been joking around all morning. This has seriously been so much fun. What's it like to be able to work with your dad, your cousins, you know, your family, and doing something like this? Uh, it's a really cool experience. You know, being with the family. It's a lot of hard work, but. Having family there makes it a lot better. So, how about you? You learn from my my father. He just teaches me everything. Teaches me everything. So it's kind of nice. Uh, it's like fun being here and just fun experience and learning from everything. Learning everything. I don't know. Just just about that. Good know. family bonding time, right? Right, Alan? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, it, even have my nephew here and working with the boys. I even got my my little one Zach. He's not here today because he had to go to school, but. Have them, they've all three worked here. It's just knowing that they're here, it's just, it's a good feeling. It really is. It's a good feeling. And you guys got to come check out Skips on West Ridge, also in Goodman, and one in uh, Fairport as well. This place is awesome. Great people, great people. Thank you so much. You've taught me so much. I hope you guys learned a lot too. I really I appreciate my meat yeah. a lot more. Uh, <laughs> the meat that you pick up at the store, it means a lot more. I'll tell you what, I just watching them uh, fillet that, those chicken breasts, I've never seen that done before. Like, it's so fast. Um, and it really all depends on, you know, what they you got, got your knife. knives and everything like that. Awesome. Thank you so much, Hannah. Hey, reminder, phone lines are